So here I am. I picked out the three colors I want and how I did that is I looked and looked for which colors blend together nicely. So these are my three choices that I did. I'm going to show you how you can practice blending colors together real quick just so that you can't see really where one color starts and one color stops, okay? So I'm just going to take like my value tornadoes that I did up here and remember light pressure like this area right here is what I'm going for. So do a strip of that, and then I'm gonna change it to my medium tone, which, oops, that's the red one, and do some overlapping. Remember we talked about in that video that we watched overlapping? So halfway over my lightest color goes into my medium. And then I'll take my darkest color and go halfway over that too, so it just has a nice smooth blend to it. And I might need to increase the darkness just on the side where it's just that darkest color, okay? So we're gonna move over to our circle now and we'll work on that. A lot of times people have a strong line. So I'm gonna pause here, build my um, circle up, my ornament, and show you exactly what I mean. But before I do that, notice how I'm curving my pencil in the direction of the circle, right? I can also turn my paper because my wrist and arm work best in one way. So I pause here and, and did this on purpose where you can see pretty clearly my strong color, my dark color, my medium color, my light color. And I did that on purpose just to show that we can still blend that out. So as long as you use light pressure the whole time, you can still blend by overlapping. So remember when we did this in the beginning, you want to do the same thing for your ornament to make it a nice smooth transition. So I'm going to take my medium tone color and go over top blending in my dark color and my medium tone color. So I'm going through that overlapping the pieces and so it'll start to look a lot smoother. In fact I can go all the way to the bottom with the darkest. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with my light color. So increasing my pressure just a little bit now, remembering as we increase pressure, we uh, can't do it too much because otherwise we're going to cause it so we can't blend at all. Okay, well, last tip I want to talk about is leaving your highlight on there. You want to start curving your light colors around and filling them in so it's more of a circular shape instead of a curved line. You want to start making it rounded. Color in the space between the circle there and the top as well. Okay, now I've got a nice life highlight there. I'm going to just gently, extra, extra soft color in as I approach the center. Leave some of it blank and then I'm going to go out and increase as I go out and get a little darker.
been a huge, huge fan of the yellow, but it also doesn't look like it's blending enough. So I'm going to bring that into my red to kind of fade it out. call it good and now I'm going to decide on where I want my um, ornament hanger to be so really it can be anywhere except at the very very bottom right where it's going so I could play around with it you just want to make a little bit of a coming out maybe that's a little extreme maybe not quite oh batteries are all done switch it a little too curvy. Make it proportionately sized. So my first one I think was a little small. So I'm going to kind of go straight out and just curve a little bit at the end. And now think about how I see it. The ornament's a little tilted away from me. So I'm going to curve it <clears throat> following the curve of my circle. You could also dip it down like this if you're at a different angle. But that looks a little weird because I'm at the wrong angle as my sphere. So then, um, you could use silver Sharpie if you want, or gray Sharpie. I'm using a pencil right now. I might go over it with Sharpie, but you just want to curve your lines of your face, and then give a nice little hanging loop. Right? You could add a little bit of shade to it if you want, make those a little stronger one side and just emphasize your lines a little bit more. There you go. And then the most important thing because it's your work of art, right? It's just beautiful. You're gonna sign it. And the year. Alrighty guys. So there you go, and that's my ornament for today. I can't wait to see your finished work.